Hi friends, you are watching BioHub and I am your biology facilitator Dr. Seema Sharma. This video is about dissection of flower of Hibiscus rosa sinensis. The shrub behind me which is in full bloom is Hibiscus rosa sinensis. It is commonly known as shoe flower or china rose. The journey of flower starts on the reproductive shoot of the plant. Here you can see there are three floral buds of different developmental stages and all these will gradually grow and transform into attractive red color large actinomorphic flowers. So let's pluck a flower and move in to begin with its dissection. Materials required one freshly plucked flower, cutter, forceps, a pair of scissors, surgical blade, needle, brush, hand lens, dropper, watch glass, cover slip, slide, and petri dish. Inflorescence of hibiscus comprises of solitary bracteate flower arising from the axil of the reproductive shoot. Inusual flower is large, bisexual, complete, showy and easily recognizable with its funnel shaped large papery petals and contrasting colorful center. Each flower is attached to the floral branch with the help of a long pedicel. This one. So it's a pedicellate flower. Near the base of the receptacle of the flower, you will notice an additional whorl of tiny green leafy structures. They are called as apicalyx. These are actually the modified bracteoles only. Above apicalyx lies the actual outermost floral whorl of the flower called as calyx. It's usually green in color and protective in nature in majority of the flowers. In order to recognize and see the relative position of apicalyx and calyx, look at this unopened young flower. The lower whorl of this green leafy structures is apicalyx and the upper larger leafy structure is calyx. Calyx protects the flower in the bud stage. Next comes the second inner floral whorl. Its technical name is corolla. Corolla comprises of five prominent attractive petals. In this china rose, they are red in color. However, the petals of hibiscus can be of a wide range of colors like pink, yellow, orange and white. Now see the arrangement of these petals. Here, margin of one petal is overlapping with the other. This kind of arrangement of petals is called twisted estivation. Knowledge about this aspect of corolla help us to draw the floral diagram. The main function of corolla is to attract the pollinators for cross-pollination. After corolla, next comes the central part. This central part of hibiscus houses the essential reproductive world, androsium and gynosium. Androsium, which is the male part of the flower, is made up of long, red colored staminal tube wearing infinite number of stamens on its upper part. Innermost whorl, that is gynosium, lies within this staminal tube. However, its stigmas can be seen jetting out of the tube. Both these parts will be explained in detail while dissecting the flower. Viewers, whenever we have to start Dissection of the flower, always remember, we start dissecting the flower from the outermost floral whorl. So here, just hold the flower gently and start plucking these green tiny leafy structures of apicalyx one by one with the help of a forcep. 
place these on the dissection tray or on a sheet of white paper you can see epicalyx of hibiscus rosa sinensis is made up of five tiny green leafy modified bracteoles annotate these by placing a slip like this one next we will dissect the calyx this whorl is calyx calyx of hibiscus comprises of five green fused sepals and technical term for fused sepals is gamosepalous to remove these i am making a slit using a forcep you can use needle or blade then with your hands detach the whorl of these fused sepals as you remove the calyx the base of the petal is exposed here you will notice presence of slightly sticky colorless and fragrance less fluid it is nectar the same nectar which attracts the pollinators like honey bees and butterflies now place these sepals on the dissection tray and annotate these as calyx now we are going to separate the corolla corolla is the second inner whorl you can see it is made up of five red colored free petals let's pluck these one by one from the base and arrange on the dissection tray aesthetically remember students presentation matters a lot during practical examination so always display all the floral parts neatly and systematically viewers though these petals are basically meant for attracting the pollinators but they are also used by human beings for the production of natural ph indicator herbal teas and more interestingly in making of black shoe polish that's why one of its common name is shoe flower now we are left with this central part of hibiscus rosa sinensis flower which contains both Androsium and Ganosium. First, see carefully how to cut this terminal tube and pull out the female part of the flower. Hold this central part softly but firmly. Cut open it by making a longitudinal slit with the help of a blade or needle. Now, take the forceps or needle and very patiently start pulling out the. style part of the gynosium from it here you can see i have almost taken out the gynosium from this terminal tube now gently hold the bottom part of this central structure cut and detach the basal part of staminal tube from the receptacle of the flower and then pull out the whole gynosium so finally we have separated male and female parts of hibiscus annotate these two as androsium and gynosium now pay attention to the androsium comes terminal tube and view its upper part in close up androsium of hibiscus is monoadelphous means made up of only one group of few stamens Each stamen has a short red colored free part of filament wearing yellow colored rainy form or kidney shaped anther on the top of it Keep androsium and gynosium in petri dishes containing water to avoid their drying up Students during practical class as well as in exam you have to make and show slide of pollen grains to For this you may take water in one wash glass rub the wet brush on anther containing part of stamens and dip and dust it in water of wash glass 
Take one ml of this on a clean slide. Put cover slip and observe it under microscope. You will be able to see numerous dark mustard yellow colored globular pollen grains with spike like outgrowths like these ones. Now coming to the Ganoshium of Hibiscus. It comprises of five carpels. And the term for five carpel containing Ganoshium is Penta carpillary. It has five free red colored velvety stigmas, long, narrow, creamish, cylinder, styler portion made up of five fused styles, and basal, broad, and smaller part houses five fused ovaries. Students, during practical, you have to cut a thin transverse section of ovary part to reveal the inner detail. For this, cut a very thin transfer section of ovary, place it in one drop of water on a clean slide, and observe under good hand lens or at 10x of dissecting microscope. This small basal structure of viscous flower is pentalocular made up of five locules with three to four ovules per locule and the presentation is exile. So with this we are through with the dissection of hibiscus rosa sinensis. Coming to the drawing part, this is how you can draw it in your practical file to complete this exercise. This information about floral rules can also be utilized further to write down the floral formula and making of the floral diagram. Now coming to the precautions. Precaution number one, freshly plucked flower should be used for dissection. Two, sharp dissecting tools should be handled carefully. Third, cut and pull out ganosium from the staminal tube patiently. Fourth, Display of floral parts should be done aesthetically. Fifth and the last precaution is avoid drying up of the specimens till examiner's remarks. So that's it for this video. I'm sure you must have found this video informative and interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.